Right, I've got some swap. Like I said, there are cows in here, but they've gone up that end. Seen one person with a dog so far, and a woman with a dog. But there used to be a stile here. That actually, I can still see the old stile. It's the other side of the gate. If you still want to experience this old stile. Yeah, I've walked over here. A lot of people park. Not many people do the walk I've done Get up there. No, they cheat. They drive up. This is part of my route when I walk from Wells back to Cheddar, which is a bigger walk, which is an earlier start, of course. Very early bus. And then I walk back to Cheddar. Sometimes I do it in reverse. Sometimes I'll walk from Cheddar to Wells and get the bus back. Uh, I, I vary it. So, here we are. And there's the big old style look. If you still want to get over the old style, there it is. Right now, what I'm going to do now, folks, is just put my mud proofs on. Over and out for a minute. I've got my mud proofs on. Top the socks over the top. They don't flap about. Worth doing it. It's worth spending a few minutes sorting that out. All right, here I am, folks. This is Westby Submendip. It's worth wearing them now, is it? Yeah. You've got, it's different if you've got your own vehicle. You can get plastered as much as you like. But if you uh, got to get on a bus. So this is what I've been wanting to do for two, two and a half years. This walk up here on a blue day with cottonwool clouds and a wind. Like I say, if I do it again in the summer, there are alternative routes to go down. And you don't have to go through the cows. I think some of the older people, very old people, were finding it difficult getting over the stile. Mind you, they always used to do it. Once you take something away from someone, you make it easier. In a way, they get weaker. Look at these lovely clouds, everyone. I love this place. That's why I like walking here. Look at it. Wells is right over there. The cathedral town. Evergorge, Glastonbury. We we'll have we've got some very boggy areas to go through. That is why I've prepared now. I've prepared now. Rather than wait. And uh, I have my method of getting them on without struggling. You roll them down, each one of them down, until you get a hole where the feet go. Poke your feet in and roll it back up, your leg. Then do it with the other leg. It doesn't matter at the end of the day how you get them off. 
but getting them off without too much issue is uh, something I've perfected. Anyway, I'm going to turn off now because, like I said, this is my better camera and uh, it doesn't last very long, but this is the important part for me, being up here. This is the important part of the walk, getting to Westbury Sub Mendip. I couldn't do this for last year. It's like I said, I couldn't do it for two years. Maybe two and a half, maybe three. Depending if I did it in 2022, depending if I did it in the February or the December. I think I did it in the February 2022. And I did it in 2000, December 2021, or the year before I did it then. Yeah, it's beautiful, this walk. I'm just letting my lungs relax now. Like I say, if I feel when I get to Draycott Slides, there's not time to get back to Cheddar for the four o'clock bus, because I don't want to wait two and a half hours, muddy and cold. I will come off at Draycott. I haven't checked the time yet, and I shan't check the time until I've got across six fields. So I don't want to worry about it. I don't want to worry about it. Now the direction I'm going is the village of Pretty. Once again, it won't be done today. In the summer, I could probably risk doing it and get the later bus because it'll be lighter and it'll be warmer. So in the summer, yeah. In fact, I've thought of doing, getting off at um, Draycott. Climbing up, you've got to climb up. Walk to Pretty on the road because there are good cows. I've done it before on Baking Hot Days. And go to Pretty Church. Then go across fields, back to Wells to get the bus. I'm just going to stop here and take a picture of another little bit of here. The pretty barrows are right over there. I've taken a picture of them. <coughs> now we're coming up to the wall. Two styles. <coughs> now the first style in front of us is the safer one if, if there are cows back because they usually have electric fence and that takes you closer to pretty not by a great amount it take, just takes you through the farm <coughs> to the left of the first style there's another style that takes you down through the muddy fields where in the summer there are loads and loads of cows thick mud that's why I'm prepared now for when I get in there and I've noticed a girl in front of me, a woman with a dog, she's gone in the second gate <coughs> and she had a little white dog with her. Behind me there's a man, an old man, with two dogs but I don't know if he's coming this way. He seems to have slowed up now. I'm a little bit wheezy. Um, but not too bad. There's probably some spring, well there are some spring pollen about. You've got some, I've seen some snowdrops earlier. I'm just trying to keep up a, a steadier pace because I've got to remember the bus times are different. They're not so frequent and there's huge gaps and it's winter. So, at the moment I'm trying to always make that four o'clock one from the four o'clock one. From Jenna, that woman looks to me like she's coming back. I wonder if she's still back out. Right, I'm just going to take some pictures and turn off a minute. Right then, 
this is Sheila. I just realised it is quite a long way I've got to go. I don't know if I will make cheddar. Same time, I don't want an hour's wait at Draycott either. But you've got to allow for how long it takes you to get down Draycott. It's not I've got miles to go. I've got to go right over by those trees, right over. I'm going to check the time when we get to this opening, just to give me a bit of a balance. I can see the aerials on the hill right over there, and the barrows over there. Is it coming into view yet? Yeah, there's the barrows. That's it, pretty barrows. Ancient Neolithic barrows. The high status community. I think I've got to go across another field yet. <sighs> Just making sure I've got my gloves. Got a banana. Just getting bits of food out to eat en route. <laughs> There's the barrows over there. You can see some people on them. And then all the way over there. The fields are looking very, very green indeed. I would say they haven't had the cows in here for a while. But look how lush it's getting. It ain't going to be long, is it? Now the mucky field is usually the one after the next field that I go through. Yeah, the mucky field. Let's hope there ain't cows in that. Because the thing is, there's not time really to mess about. Yeah, this isn't anywhere near as bad as it used to be. Right folks, just a little bit of me roaming along for a field, which has been silaged. I'm keeping an eye out in case I do see a cow or a bull. <laughs> <laughs> 